Who down here is? It is. Jim Waters and the rest of the cow folks. And they're sure tearing the town apart. Well, we can't. There they go. Back to the clothing emporium. There goes the sign of the old restaurant. And look what they're going to the laundry. They're headed this way. Come on. Jim Waters, you stay? Of course I'll stay. And it's right pretty of you to ask me. No. Come on out, boys. The drinks are on me. But, but you remember the last time. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't think of it. This is my party. Now, now you be a good boy and get back to the bar and serve my friends some drinks. But, but he... Go on. Go on. Anything in the house, boys? Whoa. Step right up. Thanks. Not fine yet. Not that you lack. I want good stuff for my pal. <laughs> Jim, have a heart. You shouldn't have such stuff around. It ain't healthy. Don't you know that liquor will eat through the bottle and spoil the varnish? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's better. All right, fellas, help yourself. Thanks, Jim. Jim, that's great. Uh-oh, here comes Willie with the new hat. Oh, way off, Jim. This is my new hat. I've got to take my girl to the show tonight. Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, gee, Jim, you ruined my new hat. Well, now that hat's got personality. Sure. That looks all right. Well, it does look a little more he managed that way, doesn't it? <laughs> sure, I knew you'd like it. <laughs> well, gee, I could have done that if I thought of it. Well, thanks a lot. Oh, don't mention it. boys. <laughs> Just in time for the party, Sheriff. <laughs> you, you'll die laughing, Sheriff, when I tell you about that stuff that Jake has in those bottles. <laughs> oh. What are you all laughing at? Well, it looks like you're ready to hang somebody. We are. Who? You. Me? What for? Disturbing the peace, property, recklessly discharging firearms, endangering the life and liberty of the citizen. Look at them. What is? I know you don't mean any harm. But your ways are getting a bit hard on the rest of the town. You've been let off with warnings before. This time I'm going to punish you. I sentence you to six months in the county jail. Think you're a bit hard on him, Judge? Your Honor, six months is a long time. That is pretty hard, Your Honor. I would throw my charge, Your Me Honor. Me too. I don't... The court will handle this. What have you got to say for yourself? Well, it was all in fun, Judge. But I guess I had it coming to me. You see, it was my farewell party. I bought an interest in a ranch in Arizona. The Bar Z, run by Ed Parks, an old buddy of mine. I was going there to get away from all this uh, shooting and excitement. If you're really going to leave, I'll suspend your sentence. I will, Judge. I mean it. All right, sentence is suspended. Me for the Bar Z in peace and quiet. Sorry, boys. As soon as I make some money, I'll square myself. 
So long, Jim. Bye, John. Certainly peace and quiet. be a trap. Boy, you sure dropped in like a Christmas present. Rustler? Just the opposite. They've made us a present of some stock that we don't want. There's been some mighty queer things going on around here lately. Our herd's been increasing, and the new stock has already got the Bar Z brand on it. Somebody's trying to make it look like you're rustling. Yes, and for the last month they've been doing a mighty good job of it. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. And I came here for peace and quiet. I wonder if Fox could have recognized any of us. Now, what if he did? We were hunting for Russell's stock. I know, but he could have seen us when we were branding the stock. Ah, quit your beef and Fox will be taken care of. Say, I wonder who that strange hombre was who horned into the fuss. I don't know who he is, but whoever he is, he's walked right into trouble. Come on, let's get out of here. Talk to Ed Parks about those blocked brands you found on your range? No, I didn't, Bostel. I want to be fair and wait for definite proof. But it's strange I'm the rancher who's losing stock. Yeah. Well, something ought to be done. I'd like to help if I can. Thanks, Bostel. I know you would. Oh, here comes Brent now. He's been checking up on the main herd. Head missing, boss. I followed some tracks that led on to Ed Parks' spread. I don't reckon that cattle strayed that way by itself. Ed Parks knew what he was doing when he picked Bar Z for his brand. Well, that's right. It's plumb easy to change a seven to a Z. We used to shoot rustlers on sight of this country. You better let the law handle it, Harvey. I don't need the law. I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'd be rustled poor if I waited for the law. The sheriff laid up with a bullet in his leg, and that thick headed deputy ain't got sense enough to pound sand in a rat hole. Do. You can't stop me. I'm going to have a showdown with Ed Park. Uh, don't be a hasty ham. It'll only lead to trouble. Please, let me talk to him. All right. everything we've got than to have you do such a thing. 
Perhaps you're right, Beth. I know I am. You understand, don't you, Dad? Yes. Say, have you forgotten you're supposed to go to the express office about that money order? That's right, I was. And don't you forget, this is the day you promised to catch up on your housework. <clears throat> yes, sir. Checked them over. Since then, they've increased 50 head. Do you have any idea who's trying to frame you? Nope. They're Harvey's cattle, all right. But I ain't got no reason to suspect him. But he's got some people working for him. I wouldn't trust no further than I could toss a yearling. And if they're Harvey's, why don't you shag them back? I'd kind of like to see who comes after them. And why? <laughs> well, it looks like I've bought myself something. <laughs> you ain't heard the half of it. Come on, let's get up the house. Oh, this is my new partner, Jim Waters. Jim, meet Sig Bostell, our leading citizen. Howdy, Bostell. Howdy, Jim. Well, what's on your mind? Have you seen anything of Harvey? No, why should I? Well, he kind of figures his stock's being rustled. He's blaming you and... Uh... Then why don't he come to me? I'm ready for a showdown anytime if that's what he wants. I don't you get hostile. Play already. Jim and me just swapped lead with some fellas down in the jumbles. You recognize any of them? No, they're scattered out too quick. Well, if there's anything I can do, Ed, you can call on me. Yeah, I'm likely to do that. Did you hear that? Thank you. 
a good idea to clean a gun after you use it. What do you mean by breaking in there? I'm looking for the murder of Ed Park. Parks, murder? What makes you think you'll find him here? The trail is horse at this ranch. Who are you? I'm Jim Waters, Ed Parks' partner. Who owns this spread? Why, why, my father, Hamp Holmes. Is he here? No. I'll take that gun. Oh, no, you won't. Friend! Friend! What's the trouble, Miss Harvey? Put this man off our property. Well, you heard what she said. Start moving. Who are you? I'm foreman of this spread. Get going. I said get going. I'll take this. I might need it for evidence. See anything of my rifle? Why, no, I didn't. You had it with you when you left here, didn't you? Yeah, I must have lost it. Uh, oh, Harvey, did you uh, hear the news? What news? Ed Parks has been murdered. Murdered? That's terrible. Lucky for me I didn't go over there. They might have thought I did it. Yeah, very lucky. What happened to Ed Parks? What's the matter, honey? Oh, Did you find any evidence? No. What do you expect me to find? Well, I thought whoever did it might have uh, dropped a rifle. How do you know there's a rifle? I'll go and get the coroner. What do you want here? It's all right. He's Ed Parks' partner. I never heard he had a partner. You're hearing it now. Rather unfortunate. I thought an awful lot of Ed. Yeah, I know. How did you get here so quick? Well, I was pretty close here, and I heard that shot, and How I... did the law hear about it? He was coming over to check up on Ed's herd. Just like that, huh? Uh, yes. See, uh, Harvey was complaining about this rustling. He even went so far as to threaten Ed. I hate to say it, but it looks mighty bad for Harvey. I wouldn't be so anxious to pin it on Harvey. Right now, it looks pretty bad for all of us. What do you mean? Just this. I've got my own ideas. And I'll thank you, gentlemen, to keep out of it. And before it's over with, I'll have a lot of work for you. You have no call to act this way. We're only trying to help. When I need help, I'll ask for it. Until then, I'm running things my own way.
I think it'd be a good idea if you'd keep your eye on that guy. Right. He looks mighty suspicious to me. Sure messed things up when she found that gun. Yeah, what really worried me was that Waters had that gun all the time and said nothing about it. We've got to put him out of the way or we're all going to swing. That's been taken care of. Hank's on his way down there now. Oh, good. That gun might have badly. I don't intend to have my father blamed for this killing. Even if he did it? He didn't. What makes you so sure? Because, Mr. Waters, my father's not a murderer. His cattle were being stolen and he thought Ed Parks did it. But he wouldn't kill him for it. He threatened to have a showdown, didn't he? That doesn't mean murder. It could lead to it. Give up, it's the law. Do you know any other ways of obstructing justice? Huh? What are you doing here anyway? I'm watching you. Who told you to? Uh, I, nobody. I thought of it myself. You're certainly making a mess of things. I didn't kill Ed Parks. More than likely you did. You and Bustle got here pretty pronto after it happened. You forget, Waters. I represent the law. Now stop your bragging and quit wasting your time trying to pin it on me. I'm only trying to help solve this murder. Well, if you want to help, come on inside. But don't get in my hair. And you almost had me convinced. Who had what? Now, never mind. You stay here tonight. The first thing in the morning, we are going to harvest. Huh? been gone an awful long time. What do you suppose happened to him? Don't get so jittery. He'll be along soon. Oh, I hope so. Maybe that's him now. How'd you make out? Not too good. He surprised me and I was lucky to get away alive. That ain't all. Him and Harvey's gal are talking things over right that's now. Enough. That's enough. Kind of people the boys in town? No. What do you intend to do? I'm going to frame Harvey and the rest is up to you. Sheriff's on his way to arrest you for murder. Waters said he saw you fire the shot. That's, That's a lie. I know it is. That's the reason I'm here to help you. Now, you go on up to my cabin and you'll be safe there. But I can't do that. Why, that would be an admission of guilt. Well, we can't worry about that now. Maybe you're right. Dad, please don't go. Now, don't you worry. Everything will come out all right. Hurry up, Harvey. We haven't any time to waste.
Don't worry about anything, Harvey. Thanks, Buckville. Harvey takes Bostell's advice, he's got to pass here. down that gun. You'll never live to serve a warrant on my father. Why, I, I ain't got no warrant for nobody. Who told you all this? Mr. Bostell. He warned us and got Dad to run away. Well, that's a fool thing for him to do. No one is accusing your father of murder. Bostell is trying to frame him, and we've got to find a way to stop him. Which way did he go? You mean that he... Which way did he go? He went towards the South Pass, and Mr. Bostell... Never mind, Bostell. He comes later. Lead the way, Sherlock. I'm going to. I never said you wasn't, but you got to ride fast. You're shot too soon. Don't let him get away now. Waters and the deputy. Scatter. Dad, you're hurt. Oh, no, I'll be all right. It's only a flesh wound. 
What are you doing with her? I'm the one you want. The law isn't interested in either of you, Mr. Harvey. Vostel told me... Vostel lied, just like he's lied all along about the bar Z. I'm convinced that neither one of you did it. And you know who did? Well, I could guess, but it's got to be proven. Come on, will you? Did you recognize any of the men that were shooting at you? I think I've seen them hanging around town. I hit one of them on the right wrist. Well, that's something to go by. If you'd have kept your head, we wouldn't have made a mess of this job. <laughs> what are you squawking about? I'm the one that got shot. Ah, you never could take it. You're as yellow as they make them. <laughs> Come on, let's get to town. Bartell, I'm tired of being the goat. They've got me branded and I've got to get out of here. And you've got to give me the money to go on or else I'm... Or else what? Well, I want what's coming to me. Here, I will get just that. Cut out the fighting. we got to stick together. Don't worry. We'll take care of you, Pete. We'll see that you do. Hey, boys. Keep an eye on Pete. I don't trust him. Hey, Brent. What happened out of the past today? Ah, uh, we had Harvey all bottled up, just about ready to give him the works, when Waters and that deputy showed up. I've got an idea this Waters hombre knows too much. Yeah. Well, you stick with me and we'll ditch the gang and get out of the country. It's all right with me, but I got some stuff we'll need cashed over at Harvey. I get it. Meet me at my cabin as soon as you can. Hey, hey, where, where, where are you going? I'm going to take a look around town. You can be a lone wolf if you want to, but I'm going to get me a posse. All right, hop to it. He's got feet spotted. Don't let them get together. Hello, buddy. Looks like you ran into a mess of lead. Uh, I just sprained it. Ow! Yeah, so I noticed. How'd you get that wound? Why, I... I... I, I, uh, what do you mean, picking on a cripple? Get some of the boys.
Get in there. What the? Here's one of the men that tried to kill you. <laughs> you can't prove it. There's proof enough. If you want to live, you better talk fast. Who was trying to make trouble between Harvey and Ed Park? I don't know. Think hard. Maybe it was Bostel. Who stole the gun off my saddle? I reckon it was Brent. Who killed Ed Park? Hey, wait a minute. You can't do this. If you had anything on me, you'd turn me over to the law. Talk. Red. Why? Bostel put him up to it. He wanted to grab all this property. Because he knew a railroad was coming through here. I tell you, they'll kill me for this. We'll protect you if you'll tell us where Bostel is. He's at his hideout. I know where it is. Follow these directions and I'm sure you'll find the place. I wish you'd let me go with you. Well, I can handle Bostel all right. Somebody's got to stay here with our playmate. But I'll be back in time for supper if I'm invited. Of course you are. Always. Thanks. Jim, be careful. Don't you worry. There's nobody as fond of me as I am myself. That's what you think. Peter Harvey's and he talked. What are we supposed to do about it? Get over there as fast as you can and don't let any of those guys get away. Well, where are you headed for? I'm going to find the boss. What do you want here, Waters? You. You ain't got nothing on me. I've got everything on you. Thanks to Pete. Yeah, stay where you are. Now turn around. Now start walking. Get over by that door and do as I tell you. Marcel! Marcel! Friend! What do you want? 
wanted to just clean up with Harvey's in his car. I sent the boys up there to take care of them. Let me in, will you? Thanks for the bad news, Brent. Now, get outside. I knew some of our boys would find us. What are you going to do now, wise guy? You lose again, Brent. Followed you from town, saw Brent, and then trailed him. Well, once I'm glad to see you. Sherlock, take care of these men. You fellas come with me. Hey, where you go? I'll write your letter. Now get going. Get going. men who attacked me. We can't let them get in. Give me a gun. Maybe they're after me. They didn't have one, Dad. We need help. All right. You get some cartridges with the gun. Shooting, let's close in. Here they come.
Take care of them, boys. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you. Where's he? Over here. He got wounded helping him. You all right? Oh, I got this little short. Give me a handkerchief. Take care of me. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. That's fine. Oh, Jim. Take me outside. 